<laughs> that guy was amazed that it's electric. <laughs> Alright you guys, welcome to the first ride of my brand new 2021 Zero FXS. As you guys know, I'm kind of short, so this is a review by a shorter guy. <laughs> I'm 5'6 with like a 30 inch inseam, and you can see the bottom of the seat here comes just below my hip bone, so it's pretty much the perfect seat height. And I mean, I'm almost up the driveway there, but if I go down the driveway, it's still a little bit below my hip bone. So, it is the perfect seat height. Um, no clutch. So we are just gonna get on it and ride. There's the startup procedure for you guys. And away we go. At like really low speeds like this, is where this bike loves to be. <laughs> That's where it's most efficient when you get like zero bars right there. <laughs> That's when it's super efficient. But uh, this seat, super comfortable, even though it's like only an inch thick. It's, I don't know if you can see that, but it like has some good give to it. Super comfortable seat. And the suspension is nice and soft soaks up all the bumps like there's um, there's like horizontal lines in this road here and uh, you can barely feel them we are in eco mode right now <laughs> that guy was amazed that it's electric <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right. So, there's absolutely zero traction control on this bike. So, you always have to be extremely careful when you're given a throttle in a turn. Because it has 78 foot-pounds of torque just on tap, just like that. This is not a stop sign here, but we are going to go and see how the turning radius is. And show you guys how it is when I stop. Alright, so we'll come to a complete stop here. You don't even have to use the brakes half the time. <laughs> Alright, so complete stop. You guys can see I have the front part of my foot on both of the ground on each side. And the pegs, like, kind of are where you put your legs at, which is not the best design. They should be a little further back, but it's, it's alright. We'll get taken off here. And I uh, use this roundabout, or cul-de-sac, to uh, test the turning radius. Alright. It's a pretty short wheelbase. So, as you guys can see, that was the turning radius right there. <laughs> pretty small wheelbase so the turning radius is pretty great on this it makes all the Jetsons sound always always be mindful when you're turning and giving a throttle that's all I can say because that torque is on tap it just comes out of nowhere you guys can see you guys can see um we're just soaking up these bumps like nothing. We'll go ahead and uh, flip this over to sport mode. I don't think I have to take my hand off. Oh yeah, sport mode is, jeez. <laughs> sport mode is uh, all the power all the time. Eco mode kind of like slowly ramps in the power. Sport mode is all the power on tap <laughs> at all times. <laughs> So you got, in sport mode, definitely, definitely, definitely B. And there's almost no regen braking in sport mode. But uh, sport mode, definitely want to be mindful of how much throttle you give it. Like I said, there is absolutely zero traction control on this bike. So 
Your only traction control is your right hand. The suspension only being 41 millimeters, it's extremely nice. It's perfect for me. Um, like I said earlier, I'm 5'6", so the suspension, even though it is long travel suspension, um, it's short enough for me and uh, I'm light enough. Um, with all this gear on, I'm probably like 160. Um, I'm light enough that I could do anything I wanted to. <laughs> I don't think it'll even wheelie. I'll have to like pop it up. Uh, these tires are not the warmest right now, so we're not going to take this turn too fast. I'll do a little over the speed limit, I guess. <laughs> That was not even full throttle, but you can see it's very quick. <laughs> and yeah, this these handlebars are a great position. I'm not too far leaned over. I am uh, just a tad bit leaned over, like, I don't know, probably like that much leaned over. It's not too bad, here's a bump. Obviously we went down with the bump, but the suspension soaked up most of that. It's such a beautiful day here in Colorado. So nice. <laughs> I think it wants to spin the back tire rather than make it wheelie. I don't know. Alright, well, we will go back back into eco mode here. Whoops. There we are. Save some battery. But um, this bike is really awesome. Even if you're just going on a chill ride, it doesn't care. If you're going on a, a uh, sportier ride, a more spirited ride, um, it still enjoys that too. Being a super moto, if you're a really good rider, <laughs> you can get super low lean angles on it. But uh, I am not that good. <laughs> we can get a decent lean angle, but uh, that 140 rear tire still is like, that's not enough tire to me. Oh yeah, look at that view. Being an electric motorcycle too, super quiet if you're going to do hooligan stuff yeah uh, this is the perfect bike to do it because nobody will even notice you're there i'll do a roundabout test for you guys up here Ooh, what is that an old citroen nice i've never seen one of those here before <laughs> i always want to be careful in the corners because all that power is on tap especially if there's gravel Definitely be careful in the corners. Now these electric bikes, they do very good efficiency in the city and they kind of lose their efficiency on the highway because of wind resistance. So you always want to be mindful of that. The more wind resistance you have, the less, less your efficiency will be. But this has just enough range to get me to and from work if I want. <laughs> All right, roundabout test here. Being a supermoto, we could jump the curb if we wanted to, but we're not going to. All right, here we go in the roundabout. It's pretty nice, pretty nice. Did a good job on the roundabout. Now we're going uphill. And uh, it doesn't care too much about elevation changes, uphill or downhill. You'll use slightly more energy going uphill and you'll gain slightly some energy back going downhill, but it's not really that noticeable. I don't think it cares. Someday I would like to uh, take this up to Pikes Peak and see how it does with efficiency. I think it's, I don't know, it's like 20 something miles from the bottom to the top. So it should have plenty of range from 100%. Um, but see how much it uses on the way up and see how much it regens on the way down. I think that would be a cool video. And never, never gotta touch the brakes on this. It's gonna be years and years and years before I need brake pads. <laughs> ah yeah, look at that view.
and being that it's only 290 pounds like it is super flickable back and forth like this if you need to if you need to like avoid an obstacle say there's something right here you can just whoop like that and avoid it like nothing it does not even care it's super maneuverable uh, I think this is a 20 mile per hour turn so we'll take it at 30 oh maybe not <laughs> That was not a good line. That was not a good line. All right, now we're on a good line. And we'll go inside and outside. All right, now look to get a better line here. Outside, inside, and outside. And we'll make it up on this turn. You don't even know, gosh. I was doing 50 right there. It's so hard to tell how fast you're going. Inside. Okay, stay off the paint because the paint is slippery and outside. Perfect. That was a good line right there. <laughs> you could be speeding on this and not even know it. <laughs> it is, it's hard to tell how fast you're going. Because there's no noise at all. I mean, you can hear the motor woo, like whirring, but uh, you can't tell how fast you're going. Obviously the wind noise increases while you are going faster. Like right here, we're doing 36. There's a little bit of wind noise, but it's not too bad. Like at this speed and at 50 miles an hour, it's hard, It's it sounds the same. <laughs> if I was doing 50 right now, I wouldn't even be able to tell. Now letting off the throttle, you will never make up as much um, input, throttle input, as you did um, <laughs> getting to that speed, I guess. I don't know. It's probably it's probably like a quarter. So however, however much throttle you use to get to whatever, 30 miles an hour, letting off the throttle and coasting down, you'll maybe get a quarter of that back. It's not that much, but it does help a lot and it helps extend your range. Some people don't like how this windshield looks on it I mean it looks fine to me you're when you're behind the cockpit like this and you can't really tell what is this a dune buggy thing nice this bike is extremely easy to handle like being so short to the ground and even in, in eco mode especially the power just is very predictable but like I said you always 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 want to be mindful in the corners it's like it's almost like a game you you can play with the bars here to see how how well how efficient you can be. Now I know this is a kind of expensive bike. Um, not a lot of people can afford to get an electric bike. It's still early um, in the days of electric motorcycles. They're all expensive. Um, so if you could afford to get one of these, I would definitely suggest doing it because it is super nice one thing uh i like the forged wheels on this but uh it kind of limits the hooligan stuff that you can do because you don't want to be doing crazy jumps or going up staircases and stuff like that with forged wheels you might crack your wheel uh, with spoked wheels at least they can take more of a beating but you have to run tubes in those tires. With the forged wheels, they can be tubeless tires. All right, back to the normal road with other drivers. All right, we're in eco mode right now. And we'll see. <laughs> Got up to the speed limit just like that. That was even a little fast. Another good thing I would like about this bike is you can lane split and nobody will even know you're there until you pass them <laughs> that's one thing uh, people get mad about when you're lane splitting because they can hear you coming on any other bike but <laughs> with this bike it's uh it's extreme it's completely quiet unless somebody has their windows down and the radio is not playing for whatever reason they got no sound in their car they will not know that you're there until you pass them so lane splitting with this bike definitely recommended we'll see if we get away from the harley 
Hey, we did. What do you know? Ah, yeah, look at these views. Such a nice day. Anyway, guys, that is all I have for you for my first ride of my brand new 2021 Zero FXS Supermoto. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big old thumbs up. <clears throat> Leave me a comment, let me know what you think. If you really like the video, share it with a friend. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and have a good day. We're gonna whoosh out of here. Hey, KTM Super Duke. Another Harley. Nice, nice, everyone's waving to me.